So as you can see, the villager breeder that I built in my previous episode is a bit... Well, it, it's working. <laughs> oh man, there are... Uh, that, that mini map, there's so many, like, villagers on it. Jeez. This is a very functional villager breeder. So I need a use for all of these villagers. And you probably already know if you watched my previous video. If you did not, you should probably go watch it so that you have some context about this video. It's time to build a trading hall. A massive trading hall like the one that you may have seen on season 1, I believe. Season 2? Was it season 2 or season 1? I think it was season 1 that I made the massive trading hall with like three sections or something. So, first, I need to make the occupation station. And to do that, I need lecterns. Well, actually, first, I need a Fletcher because I need a way of getting emeralds since my current emerald collection is five emeralds in here. There must be more in other places. I, I don't have any more emeralds. So yeah, I don't have enough emeralds to do, like, any trading. That's a problem. So how do you make a fletching table? That would be wood and flint. Great, I have none of that. Or I may have some wood in a chest somewhere here. Just, oh, well, I have birch, so th that's wood. That is wood. And any gravel, so I can get flint. Oops. I looked away while it's pressing. Okay, one flint. There needs to be some enchantment that you can get on, like, your shovel, which gives you a higher chance of getting flint. Okay, yes. All right. I got flint. So now I can dump this into here, and all done. And a fletching table is ready to be made. Well, now it's made. So I can go down here. Uh, not so quick. Actually, yes, quick. Um, I have enough to make a crafting table. Basically, I need to have a chest that stores all of the job tables for the different professions that a villager can have. So, ew. I want a normal chest. Not a stupid birch chest. If you know me, I hate birch. So, uh, this needs to be closed off. And before I actually get started with giving the villagers jobs, I'm going to put this back here. I need to make the actual hall itself, which may take a while to dig out. Yeah, I, I need to make that hall. So I need to get my building blocks for the wall. I'm going to be using a mix of shale. Uh, I did not get all of it. Uh... I'll do blackstone too, and smooth stone. There's also some smooth stone, though that's regular stone. I need to re-smelt the regular stone, and that becomes, it'll, it will become smooth stone eventually. So it's now time to get out the time-lapse camera and dig out the place. So just as I'm editing this, I noticed that when I put the uh, stuff into the furnace. I did not have any coal in it. However, I did uh, realize that when I was recording and I put coal back in it. Well, I don't really have much to talk about. I mean, is, what do you say that 12, no, not 12, I meant 32 iron is good for a mending book? I mean, I sold it to someone on the server for, uh, I sold a mending book, 10 emeralds, to some guy on the server for only 32 iron. Tell me if that's a good deal. So I didn't actually do much digging, but it's this is a decent trading hall for now. Of course, I can always expand in the future. No worries. Now this is getting full. I got to add some sort of like control on how how many people, I mean villagers can be in there. So next, I need to build up the little, uh, oh, never mind. First, I need to make the, like, actual floor and ceiling. I entirely forgot about that. 
that needs to be done. So the walls are going to be sort of hidden by the villager slots made of either shale or blackstone. I still can't decide. And I may actually run out of smooth stone, but whatever, it's already looking great. How come smooth stone drops smooth stone, but stone drops cobblestone? And, well, I ran out. So I need to go all the way back to uh, my base to get some more from the super smelter. Which hopefully has not stopped. Oh no, that's regular stone. No. Oh, come on. Okay. So, yeah, that's the issue. It's just all regular stone. So I have to wait a bit more. You know what? I'll do the ceiling later. Uh, I'll just start with the villager slots now. Because that's... The ceiling doesn't really that matter that much. It's just a nice little thing to have. And firstly, mob spawning has got to be under control. Because this is an area with villagers. And if it has villagers, well... Mob spawning is a big issue. So I have more shale than blackstone, so I guess I can just do it out of shale. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna build it like that. That looks... This design is like the same as my season one design. So I finished this side, now I need to pick up the shale, because we don't waste shale over here. Since the only place that I can get shale from is an ice biome over 4,000 blocks away. So, okay, that's done. And the lecterns, fletching tables, whatever, that will go over uh, here in, in this block. And then the villager will stand here. Oh, nope. That's not how it's going to work. Are you serious? Really? <sighs> really? Come on. No. I did not think of this. You know what? It's fine. I'll, I guess I'll just make this area one block wide. It won't look that great, but... And it feels a bit claustrophobic. However, this is just one of several areas in the future that I'm gonna make. So, now it's time to... Make... Like, get a villager near the first villager. So... Oh, nope, nope, that's not how we do it here. First, I need oak. Lots and lots of oak. Because I need fence gates for uh, all of uh, like villager control systems to make sure that no one escapes. Because if villagers can escape, well, <laughs> that's going to be a problem. And I think this should be enough. 14 seems like it's enough. Yeah, probably should be enough. I need a crafting table. Okay, I got one right here. And fence gates. Okay, I can make seven. Seven was probably enough for now. Yeah, whatever. So I need to add one here and here. Then here. Here. I'm already out. More fence gates. I know I'm gonna be out already. <laughs> yep. Wait, are those birch? No, okay, good. They're oak. So I need to get... No, it's just sticks that's the issue. That's the only thing. So it's not the actual wood that's uh, what I'm short on. It's the sticks. I believe this is enough. Doesn't look like it's enough. However... It is, for now. So, yep, that is on point enough. So now I get a fletching table. I close up all the gates and light this place up. I completely forgot about that. So lighting has been resolved, I think. Lighting's been resolved. I hope lighting's been resolved. Well, okay, 
close up all the gates. No gate should be left open. Uh, and I just need to let one villager and only one villager through. All right, well, there's one villager through. Come on, villager. All right. Are you... Is it the fletching table thing that the villager has the, like, stick trade? Okay, 32 sticks. I think I'm getting a bit ripped off here and not sure. Okay, well, now I have an emerald. So, in theory, I should... That well, that was simple. <laughs> First villager is in, so now I can move this fence gate back, and I need another one, which means more wood. Oh, great! Uh, where is the staircase? Okay, there, even more wood is required. So much wood tree farm, tree farm, tree farm. I want to make one, but I can't because TNT dupers re require some like special coral that no one on the server has found yet. So that's not going to be enough wood. Definitely not. I think I should get a stack of oak. That would be sufficient. So I personally think this is enough. And now I can go back here and empty out all my junk items. No, I cannot throw them over the fence. <laughs> Dang it. So now I have some inventory space for all these logs, and I can now make a couple more fence gates. Only five? Are you serious? Okay. There we go, 24. Now I can have one for each and every slot and even future proof it a little bit it's not really future proofing at what's the proofing about putting a fence gate there or whatever i can get one in the future why is it lagging so much i don't know the server just like causes client lag in random places yeah they're seemingly completely random so now is the time when i'm gonna try and get my first uh, what, what do you call it, uh, lectern villager, L librarian. So, I need to sleep first, and then I need to figure out how to craft a lectern, because, uh, I call them a lectern villager. What does a smithing table, like, uh, I think they give, like, armor or something? I'll take it, because, why not? I'll dump some items in here. Oh, what did I just dump in there? I just dumped something. Didn't seem good. What could have dropped into there? Was that diorite? Yeah, I think it was just diorite, whatever. So how do you make a lectern? Lectern. Okay, so bookshelf and slab. Slabs I can easily make. There, I have the 12 slabs. However, bookshelf... How do I just get, like, a vanilla bookshelf? Okay. I need books and oak planks, which I have, but no books. How do you get books? Something to do with leather. And I think I have a bit of leather from various places. Well, I don't. That's only leather boots. You know what, it's, I'm good enough with this smithing table it, for now. Um, okay, I place one. No, I'm just going to let a villager through. And I'm going to place the workstation. Okay, so stone. So, well, I guess it's like a beginner villager or whatever you want to call it. Fifteen coal. You know what? This is this is good enough, and I believe if you like level it up, I'll just buy a stone house that levels up a tiny bit, and also to lock in its trades. So now I'll move this over. 
time to unlock this gate. And now the villager should start walking towards its new workstation. And there we go. The second villager is in. Now it's time to get a lectern and actually I'm just gonna continue this tomorrow because it's like pretty late at night right now. So I just spent like half an hour straight collecting uh, leather. Now I believe I need just paper. Good thing I have a sugarcane farm. So books, there we go, 37 books. That's a lot. Now how do you craft a lectern? You need bookshelves. Of course. Okay. Bookshelf. Uh, where did all my wood go? Wait, no, I, I think I crafted it all into stick. Why would I do that? Why? No. Now I have to go mining and chopping trees again. I really need a tree farm, but I don't have the motivation to build one. Maybe next season. And there's another cow here. Why not kill it? Already a bad start today not good so i have 19 logs that should be enough for a couple lecterns that's all i need and i also yeah uh that uh blacksmith or whatever i got a coal trade i think i did that yesterday so i can trade coal um now i can make a oak bookshelf and i have some stuff remaining so i'll make sticks I'll probably regret doing that. Back to... Oh, wait. Wait, no. I I have a whole collection of wood in there. I did not turn it all into sticks. So now I can make three lecterns. I, I think that's good enough for now. I'm going to make more in the future, but... For now, it's good enough. So I've been AFKing at the mob farm, which is quite far away. So, yeah, and I don't think any new villagers have been produced. So, yeah, there's nothing in there. I'm just going to place it all in there except one. And I need to let one villager through. Just one villager. Oh, it's still on that side. Doesn't want to come through. I'll place the workstation. Now does it- Come on, villager. <laughs> I think we're having a problem now. There's a bit too many villagers. So, okay. It's a librarian. Lore 3. 36 emeralds. Kinda garbage. Efficiency 1, ooh. Fortune 1. That's okay, but I have fortune 2. Loyalty 3. I don't- what is that for? Trident? Uh, bookshelf thing? Trade? Okay. Come on. Librarians are very hard to, like, get a good trade. Well, it's not doing anything. I, I'm i gonna go and get uh, some one emerald, to be exact. Just, just what? Wait, it, it has something else. Oh, I can trade some flint now. Now that it's an apprentice or whatever. And I can get a bell. That seems like a massive scam. That is a massive scam. When I can just steal one from a village. And you can also trade iron. So all the excess iron that I have up at my base could be traded. And what's your trade quick charge? Garbage. Rather, I don't need it. It's, it's like maybe good respiration one i got i think re yeah respiration two punch one i think i have i don't have my bow with me efficiency five. Oh my god yes yes i need this efficiency five okay so i think i may have to trade all my paper but my sugarcane farm has been working so at least i have its trade locked in so I have seven emeralds now. I'm gonna craft this all into sticks so that I can trade with the Fletcher and get a ton of emeralds. It's probably gonna run out of stock. Okay, 15. That's okay. I'll go up and get some iron just so that, like, well, iron is one of the trades. Anything in my super smelter? No iron there. 
whatever, no, um, okay, wow, that's a lot of iron, I'm just gonna take it all, because why not, I'm not sure if there's, like, a time limit on doing something like this, if, like, I'm not that good with trades and stuff, so, now it's 17, wait, is it 17 because I, like, okay, well, that, that's good, info, so I only need two more now, two more emeralds, and I can finally get an efficiency five book. Yes, I did it. My first like librarian. So now I'm gonna open up all the paths for this librarian to be. And there, it's gonna be right there. So now that the trade's locked in, I can destroy the lectern and it'll still contain its job. And now I can place it there. And the villager should, in theory, where is it going? This is not working. I'll place it here. Here we go again, villager incompetence. Okay, what is happening? Villager, you have places to be. Maybe I should put all the librarians on the other side. Maybe it'll, like, actually want to go onto the other side for some reason. It hates this side. I don't know. I have no idea at this point. So, it can go in here. What is it doing? It was easy with the smithing table thing. Uh, blacksmith, I think. Yeah. It was easy with that, but not with the librarian oh my god villager what are you doing you know what i'll use the bread trick the same trick that i used in the iron farm video you should watch that hello villager take the bread well this is working very well hey hey come in here come in here there's bread there's bread it's your favorite Yes, I did it. I'm a professional Minecrafter. So now I have a dedicated place and all my villagers lined up. Time to get another one. Hopefully this one's a bit easier. So I need to release just one villager. That was easy. Get a job. Villager. Villager. Okay. Thorns 2, isn't it? Thorns 3. Thorns may not be the best because sometimes it's a disadvantage. So, no thorns. Blast protection. I'm pretty sure protection includes all three of the like other protections. Like fire protection, blast protection, whatever. Stop trying to get out. You can't get out. Sorry. Sorry, get a job first before you get out. Actually, it'll never, it'll never get out, or it's not allowed to leave. Okay, still the bookshelf trade. Fire protection? I, I mean, uh, no. No fire protection. Thorns 3 this time. Protection 1. Thorns 3 again. Please stop, villager. Sometimes I want to make a mod or add a mod that like lets you speak with villagers, like using voice chat. That probably exists. Feather falling three. I have a feather falling four, but feather falling three is not that bad, honestly. But no, I have backup sets in my armor, so I don't. Luck of the C3, 44 emeralds? That is... What? My lectern. Okay, well, gave it back. Multi-shot, don't need it. Looting 3, oh my god, looting 3, oh my god, okay. Okay, so, looting 3 is, like... Exactly what I need. I just forgot how many emeralds it was. Uh, nine emeralds for that one. So in theory, it should lock in all the trades. If it doesn't, that's completely fine. But actually, it's not completely fine. 
So, um, bookshelf there. Now, if I destroy the lectern, well, it retra it retains its trades. Is this? Yep, this one is gonna be as easy as the previous one. So we close off that gate, and all the gates are closed. And these this gate system is extremely good for preventing any villager escaping. And baby villagers are a problem because, well, if a baby villager comes through, well, firstly they're extremely hard to control. Okay, sweeping edge one bad. Depth Strider 2? Don't need it. I'm okay with swimming. Garbage trades. Garbage again. Fortune 2. I have Fortune 2. However, yeah, no. Fortune 3. Or nothing. Mending? Oh, wait. Are you... No way. No way. That is what the villager is charging for it. Ten? D d did that just say ten emeralds? Am I going crazy? Mending for ten emeralds? This villager is officially insane. Okay, I get to your new workstation. And there we have mending. Looting. I should put up signs and efficiency 5. So, well, that was a massive success, to be completely honest. So, of course, I will do more in the future. This is not it. The trading hall is not finished at all. I need more villagers, way more trades, more Fletchers, more blacksmiths, more iron mining. And I should probably put my iron back. Uh, before I do anything else. So, uh, where does my iron go? It goes right in there. And, oh, one last thing. The ceiling. I completely forgot about that. Okay, why isn't it smelting? Ran out of coal, of course. No more coal left. So I guess all I have is that. I'm gonna check the... Uh, yeah, that's all I have. Looks like I have to go mining a bit more, but you know what? That's fine. It's not that big of a deal. So now I can enter the trading hall. Oh, well, actually, I did put a lot of the ceiling in already, so it's... And also the shale sort of hides some parts of the ceiling, so I don't have to put smooth stone everywhere. I can get away with putting it in only some places. Yeah, so that's a very efficient use of smooth stone during these hard times when the super smelter runs out of coal. And I'm out, so I'm like just a few short. And I can actually use wood as fuel, but I don't have any, which is great. So it looks like I need to go mining. So I got a tiny bit of coal after like a minute of mining. Since I do have fortune too, that is an amazing enchantment. And uh, now I can just dump it in here. Is there anything else? Oh, this is the blast furnace super smelter is also short. So now I just wait for a bit. So now I should have enough to finish the ceiling off. Uh, I, I, yep, I have even more. So the ceiling's now finished. And, well, this is a huge success, so I still need to put signs on everything and make uh, more trades and add more villagers, add a like, second chamber, and whatever. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I am out.